is Allison. I decided to make an updated All My Dolls video because the last one I made was six months ago and my collection has changed a lot since then. Also, because it's spring and I'm in that spring kind of mood, I've been wanting to do an updated All My Dolls video. So anyways, hope you enjoy. So I wasn't always a American Girl doll collector. I actually started with like Barbies and I had received Olivia who was my twin doll around the same time I had started a Barbie collection I had. I don't use her in my videos anymore because she needs like a lot of work. Her eyes, as you can see, have turned a pink color and her hair is very knotted. I hope to get her fixed up soon so I can use her more in stop motions. This is Caroline. I got her for free at a Girl Scout event in March of 2014. I customized her with this red wig from Basics for Dolls on Etsy. Um, and this is because I originally destroyed her curly hair. She is the sassy girly diva. She's best friends with Charlie and loves pink and cute clothes. This is Charlie. She is a Just Like You number 24 and I got her from eBay July 10th of 2020. Um, after getting Caroline, I went on a long hiatus from collecting American Girl dolls because of the complications with Caroline's hair, and I also didn't connect to Caroline all that much. When I got back into American Girl dolls in 2020, I wanted another doll to help me like get reconnected with Caroline, so I got Charlie. She is very shy in my videos. She is soft-spoken. She enjoys playing guitar and reading and is pretty much a band geek, kind of like me. So my next doll is Will. I got him from eBay October 7th of 2020. He is a customized Rebecca Rubin doll with a wig from Monique Wigs. After watching a lot of AG Smiles, I wanted a boy doll of my own. He is very introverted. He likes to play video games and likes computers and technology. I didn't catch that. Was that play the song classic retro computer game console old early technology simple FX electronic synth beat? This is Michelle. She is a number 25. She was a doll I had gotten as a mini me as an alternative to Olivia because she was way too tall for my sets and she also had an instance where her eyes went from brown to pink as you've seen before. In my video she tends to assume the mother role to fill in for Olivia, who was my first doll. She is organized, responsible, and stresses a lot. This is Kat. I wanted number 29 so badly after watching Rockstar 13 Studios. This doll also has had a variety of personalities. She used to be a tomboy liking a lot of sports. Then she became a nerd and interested in anime and astronomy. Now she's essentially my emo slash punk girl. She listens to a lot of punk music and tends to feel unnoticed, especially as a middle doll. She's actually not going to look like this for too long. I ordered a wig from her. It's a very beautiful indigo wig from Doll of a Kind on Etsy. After Kat, I thought I wouldn't get any more dolls, but little did I know that my mom and I would eventually find a doll for $70 that was a really good price, and it was a Julie Albright doll. I found her on Facebook Marketplace. In my videos, she is sporty, but for recreational sports like volleyball and basketball, she's extrovert and friendly and loves making new friends and making others feel included. She's also a natural leader. She's also friends with Nellie, Molly, and Eve. My grandmother loves to sew, and one day she asked if I wanted some homemade American Girl clothes, especially since she had made some clothes for my Barbie dolls a few years prior. But in order for her to sew the clothes, she needed a doll model. And because I wasn't sure how long I would be without a doll, um, we decided to get Ginger. So she was briefly in my collection in May of 2021. Um, then she went away for a bit and then she went back in my collection around August of that year. While she was gone, I had brainstormed like her potential personality and I took a lot of inspiration off the song Tomboy by Destiny Rogers. In my videos, she is obviously the tomboy of the family. She's adventurous and a risk taker. She loves skateboarding, parkour, and exploring abandoned buildings. This is Molly. She is a 35th anniversary doll, and I got her May of 2021 for my aunt. 
her personality isn't all that developed because I haven't really used her too much in AGSMs, but she's kind of pessimistic. Um, she's sassy, a little nerdy, and overall like a snarky know-it-all. This is Nellie. Ever since I began collecting American Girl dolls again after watching Mixie Pixie 7, I really wanted Nelly. I thought she was such a cute doll and the freckles were just so adorable. The problem was most good conditioned Nelly dolls were over $400. And who even has that kind of money? I kind of thought that I would just never get a Nelly doll ever in my years of collecting. But surprise, surprise, I ended up getting her August of 2021 for $68 off of eBay. Though she was in kind of rough shape, her hair is kind of messy. The biggest issue was she had lipstick and fingernail polish that was with permanent marker, so I had to use like benzoyl peroxide to get that off. But nevertheless, I am so grateful to have this doll in my collection. Um, she's my little vintage girl. She likes the vintage aesthetic. She's very carefree and loves to have fun. This is Eve. I had gotten her from Cup of Tea AG off of Instagram. She is so cute. Um, I got her September of 2021. She is very artistic. She loves art and expressing herself through her paintings. She's also a perfectionist. She does not like it when anything she creates is less than perfect. She's also very introverted, but is friends with Nellie, Julie, and Molly. This is Penelope. She is a Gwen Tan doll, and I got her January of 2022. I wanted Corinne so badly, but I also didn't want another doll because I already had 10. So I got Corinne's sister, Gwen. In my videos, she's just your typical seven-year-old girl. She loves unicorns, sparkles, and princesses. She usually carries around this little unicorn that she names Rainbow. This is Kanani. I had gotten her early March of 2022, and I was so excited to have gotten her. I cannot believe I actually have her in my collection. She is a Kanani Akina doll. Um, a doll that I also thought I would never be able to get in my collection. She didn't come with a wig, so her wig actually comes from like Dallas Doll Co. I haven't really developed much of a personality for her because she's new, but I kind of think of her personality as classy. She loves fashion, but isn't a diva like Caroline. She's smart, clever, and very driven. This is Austin. He is my second boy doll. I had gotten him late March of 2022. His wig comes from Doll of a Kind on Etsy. He loves musical theater, he's very loud, he's extroverted but shy around Will sisters. He and Penelope are siblings but they aren't part of the main doll family yet. I Hopefully they will be soon. 